future will. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English learning series today. We're going to learn about the future will and five useful vocabulary words that go along with it. In this lesson, you'll understand how to talk about future plans, expectations, and decisions using will. Then, we'll tell a story where we use this grammar and vocabulary to help you improve your listening and reading skills. Grammar. So, what is the future will? We use will to talk about decisions we make at the moment, future plans, and things we expect to happen in the future. For example, if I decide right now to go to the gym tomorrow, I say, I will go to the gym tomorrow. Easy, right? Let's look at a few more examples. I will call you later. They will visit us next week. She will decide by the end of the day. Vocabulary. See? It's super simple. Now let's learn the vocabulary that you can use to talk about the future. Here are five great words for talking about the future. One. Soon we use this to talk about something that will happen in a short time. For example, the train will arrive soon. Two, plan when you organize something in advance or plan my trip next week. Three, expect. This word is used when you think something will probably happen. I expect it will rain tomorrow. Next, we use this to refer to the following event or time. I will start a new project next month. Five, decide when you make a choice. She will decide where to go later. Listening. Now that you've got the grammar and vocabulary, let's move on to our story. Listen carefully to this story. I'll be using both will and the vocabulary words we just learned. After the story, you'll see it again as a reading exercise. Let's begin. Next week, Maria will visit her grandmother. Her grandmother lives in a small town by the sea. Maria hasn't seen her grandmother for a long time, so she expects it will be a happy visit. She hasn't made any big plans for the trip yet, but she will start planning everything tomorrow. First, she will buy a train ticket and then she will pack her bags. She knows she will have to leave early in the morning, so she will set her alarm tonight. Her grandmother told her on the phone, we will go to the beach soon after you arrive. Maria is very excited and can't wait to see her grandmother again. She is also happy that she will have some time to relax by the sea. Maria will decide later what to bring as a gift. Great job. Now, let's test your understanding. Here are a few multiple choice questions. Choose the right answer. 1. What will Maria do next week? A. Visit her grandmother. B. Visit her cousins. C. Go to the beach. 2. What does Maria expect? A. It will be a sad visit. B. It will be a happy visit. C. She will stay home. 3. When will Maria plan her trip? A. Next week. B. Tomorrow. C. Tonight. 4. What does Maria decide to do before she leaves? A. Set her alarm. B. Pack her bags. To call her friend. Five. What does Maria's grandmother say they will do soon after she arrives? A. Go shopping. B. Go to the beach. C. Go to a restaurant. Here are the correct answers. How many did you get right? One. A visit her grandmother. 
2. B. It will be a happy visit. 3. B. Tomorrow. 4. A. Set her alarm. 5. B. Go to the beach. Great job, everyone. Keep practicing and soon you will be even better at English. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn about present continuous, click on this link. I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll talk about the present perfect. Bye for now.